You've planted some Penstemon hirsutus seeds. You've given them 60 days, give or take, of cold, moist conditions. And now you want to know what they're going to look like when they come up in the springtime as a seedling. Well, I've got what you need. <laughs> I'm going to show you that in this video, what they look like coming up as a seedling. So there's a few different common names for Penstemon hirsutus. I call it hairy beard tongue. And here are the stats on this plant, if you will, to make sure we're talking about the same plant, ever important. Um, and again, this is not looking at what an established plant looks like coming up in the spring. This is looking at what a seedling looks like coming up. So the first time it comes up from seed. All right, here we go. So this is early spring. I have had these seeds in these containers outside since December. They got snowed on, it was cold, it was wet, and now here they are in early spring, which for me is mid-March, and these is what this is what they look like when they first come up. These are called cotyledons, and most plants look like this when they first come up, which is to say these two little leaves that are actually not even considered true leaves, um, they're cotyledons. And so we've jumped now a couple weeks later to mid-spring, mid-April for me, and this is what they look like. They look a lot the same still. They are these little cotyledons. There's no true leaves yet that I can tell. And so a lot of plants look like this when they come up. So if this is where you are, you're like, well, this looks like anything. <laughs> so here we are mid-spring, uh, late April for me, and now we're starting to get actual true leaves. And now I've jumped ahead again to late spring or early May, and now you can really start to see the true leaves are coming up. Each of these have two or four leaves. They're only about a half inch tall, but this is what hairy beard tongue looks like when it's past that little cotyledon stage when it looks like everything, <laughs> when it gets to actually starting to look like the plant it will become. Uh, you can see that they're green leaves, but there's a little purplish reddish to them. The little stalk and the little central veins in them start to take on this purplish reddish look. And now we're at mid-spring. Already we've jumped to mid-June. It's, it's a few weeks later. And these are about an inch or an inch and a half tall. And I'm showing you what they look like. Now I've replanted them, or I've planted them out in the yard, these little seedlings. And so again, we're at maybe a half inch tall for some of these, maybe one inch tall. Um, so the green in the leaves is sort of a light green. At this stage, they're mostly smooth. And some of them, their little stem is that purplish reddish color. Some of them around the edge of the leaf or along that central vein, it is also a reddish purple. In some, like this one, uh, that central vein is not reddish purple at all. But around the edge of the leaf and along that little tiny stalk in the middle, you can see a little reddish purple. And so that is characteristic of Penstemon hirsutus. Look at this one. This one's got a lot of red to it, right? So there's a little variation. The more sun, often the more reddish purple you get. But these have all been in the same conditions, and you can see they all have slightly different color variation. So there you have it. That is Penstemon hirsutus, a hairy beard tongue, what it looks like coming up in the springtime. Uh, from from seed as a seedling so there that is what it will look like for you if you want to know what hairy beard tongue looks like in every season or if you want to know what hairy beard tongue looks like as an established plant what that looks like when it comes up in the spring I have links for you in the video description so if you've planted Penstemon hirsutus seeds and you're waiting to see them come up kudos to you planting native and you've picked a really beautiful plant.